Hello and welcome! In this tutorial, I would like to discuss difference between primitive value types and reference type in JavaScript. So, stay tuned and let's get started! Now I would like to discuss another important concept in JavaScript. And that is the difference between primitive types and reference type. But before talking about types, let's talk about variables. So what is variable? Variables are building blocks for every programming language. And variable is something that can change its value. But what is the purpose of the variable? Variable holds a value. And you can reuse variable as many times as you want. Also, because it is variable, you can change its value. Let's suppose that uh, there is a variable that is holding some value. And you decide to assign another value to this variable. And you perform reassignment of this variable. You assign new value to the old variable. And that is called variable reassignment. Before variable was holding old value and now it holds new value. If variable was holding specific value and then you changed this value, you say that variable was changed. But what about value? What is that? Value is simply record in the memory and each record has specific type. And all value types in JavaScript are divided into two groups – primitive value types and reference type. And the reason for this division is in the way how values of those types are stored internally in the memory. But before talking about that, let's discuss which variable types exist in JavaScript. And first group is primitive variable types. And there are six of them. String, Boolean, number, null, undefined, and symbol. Let me quickly give you an example of each variable type. String – simply hello world. Boolean – just true or false. Number – 0, minus 5, 7, 5.2, 10.7, and so on. Null – simply null, nothing else. Undefined – simply undefined. And example of the symbol is symbol.iterator. That is a built-in variable that holds value of symbol type. Symbol type is relatively new and it was introduced by ECMAScript standard in 2015. By the way, JavaScript is one of the implementations of ECMAScript standard. But what about second group, reference type? Which value type in JavaScript? belongs to this group? And I am sure you know answer to this question. It is object. Please remember this and always keep in mind. JavaScript has only one reference type. And it is an object. But you may ask me, what about arrays, functions? I thought that uh, they have also reference types. And that is correct. Because arrays and functions in JavaScript are objects. Almost everything in JavaScript is an object. Remember that. Ok, let's now look at the difference between primitive value types and reference type. And let's first look at primitive types. Here on the left you see memory. And each value is stored in the memory. Each value of six primitive value types in JavaScript is stored in the memory in the separate, let's say, cell. So here is, for example, string hello world. And it is stored in the memory in the separate place simply as a sequence of zeros and ones. And you can read this value anytime. You can also write new values into the memory. And new values are written into new places in the memory. Here you see example of the value of another primitive type. Boolean, and its value is true, and again it is stored in independent cell in the memory. 
Same with number. It is number primitive type. And in this example, it is simply 25. And again, it is stored in the memory directly. Ok, that's how values of primitive types are stored in the memory in JavaScript. Let's now look at reference type. And here are two examples. Now, values are not stored in the memory directly. Instead, they are stored in two separate places. Here you see pointer. And this pointer points to specific place in memory where value of reference type object is stored. Again, this cell on the left is called pointer and it simply holds location of this object in memory. It means that this cell points to another cell in the memory. Same in the second example. Here is a pointer and this pointer holds location of this value. And this value has also reference type, that is object, same as in this example. But you can say me, hey, but here is an array and in previous example it was an object. Yes, when you use curly braces and set of name value pairs between them, you create an object and it is called object literal notation. And when you use square brackets and place elements separated by commas between them, it is called array literal notation. But this doesn't impact the way how those values are stored in the memory. Because in both cases, this value and this value has reference type, that is object. That's why values in those examples, this value and this one, are stored in the memory along with pointer that points to location of those values in the memory. And that is a reference type, object. But you may ask me, can it happen that uh, different pointers point to the same value in the memory? And answer is yes. For reference type it is possible. In this example, two different pointers point to the same place in memory where value of reference type is stored. And notice that those references in both pointers are the same. But colors of those two pointers are different. I made this on purpose, because pointers themselves are stored in different places in memory. But they hold same value. And these values point to the place in memory where this value is stored. But you may ask me, is it possible to have more than two pointers that point to the same place in memory? Yes, why not? That's nature of the reference value type, that is object. And now, most important takeaway from this lecture. If you change value of reference type, you change it here. You don't touch any pointers. They still point to the same place in memory. But now this value was updated and all pointers now point to updated place in memory. But they don't care about that, they are simply pointers to other place in memory, nothing else. And finally, in order to make you fully understand how values of reference type behave, let me show you an example. Please don't focus on the syntax now, we are talking about only the way how values are stored in the memory. Remember that purpose of each variable is to hold a value. And in this example, we assign this value, that is an object with two name value pairs, to variable A. And in the memory, variable A will hold pointer, not value itself, just pointer. And value will be located in the separate place in memory. And this pointer will point to this place in memory. Why is this important? Let's try to copy variable. And now copy of A is new variable that is a copy of variable A. And now in the memory new pointer was created. And copy of A holds now this new pointer. 
but contents of this pointer are the same as for variable a. And now there are two pointers in memory that point to the same place that holds value. And now let's see what will happen if I will try to change this value in the memory. I can do that in such way. Copy of a dot a equal to 20. Please don't focus on the syntax now. Purpose of this example is to show you what happens in the memory when you perform actions with values of reference type, that is object. So, in this example, if I change value of one of the properties in this object, it will be changed only in this place in memory. Pointers will not change. That's why if I will try to access property A of variable A, I will get 20, because this value in the memory was updated. And it doesn't matter which pointer was used to perform this action. It was changed only in one place. Ok, summary is following. In JavaScript, there is only one reference type, object, and values of this type are always stored in the memory along with pointers. Ok, I hope you enjoyed this video, if so thumbs up, if you disliked it thumbs down, please subscribe to this channel, ring a bell to get notifications, join my courses on Udemy and follow me in social networks. See you next time, bye bye.